Hello, everyone. Uh, I want to show to you how we can use uh, digital experience in Salesforce. And actually, this is the page. Uh, if you uh, do it preview uh, your digital experience, you can see uh, like that. Uh, why I, sh I show to you? Because um, in the Salesforce, uh, in the org, uh, you can create an area uh, to show your uh, records uh, like a website or web page, okay? For example, here, home, topics, and events. You can put it here, search. But I'm not explaining everything. Just uh, I want to show you how we can do that. And and uh, we, if you want to uh, choose some uh, parts, for example, here, tabs or menus, and the search bar are the other things, how we can uh, reach them. Okay, now I'm going to here with first thing uh, I want to show to you Salesforce digital experience. If you uh, type on the Google, uh, you can find some explanations there. And additionally, uh, I found it inside of the trailer head, expand your reach with experience cloud. You can understand here uh, very well. Uh, for example, get started with experience cloud. Uh, it's uh, this explanation is very good and it means uh, if you couldn't uh, imagine that, uh, this is a portal and you can uh, find anything like any web page in your CRM. So uh, let me show to you uh, what I did. If you want to do that, actually, you are going to in your org. Uh, let's find a little bit bigger. Okay. And you, you should uh, type inside of the uh, home and all sites. If you click that, all sites all sites here uh, you should create a new one and after then you can find the workspace and builder just when you click the builder it's going to here and after then uh, you can see here for example this is the headline and this is the navigation menu and here global search and actually when i uh, click that yeah when i click the builder uh, i couldn't find any navigation things okay so maybe i confused that uh, and I wanted to uh, add any uh, here menu, okay? Any top, any menu. If you want to do that, if you couldn't find anything, you can go to left side and settings. And inside of the settings, uh, you can click the add navigation menu or and default navigation, you can use it. From here, I, I want to use this default menu, uh, default navigation here and add it. You can see that topics and events. Home is uh, compulsory, you know that, and topics and events. Okay, if you want to add it and look at here, for example, accounts, let's find, and in the uh, type is here, Salesforce object, and you can find it here that if you want uh, to add the other things, for example, account, and which accounts you want. It's also, you know, that these are the filtered options. <clears throat> Sorry, and all accounts. And I couldn't click that the optional, but you can edit an uh, image uh, inside of the menu. Okay, and after then, if you save it, uh, you can see the changings and click that. So you can see here the accounts. And for example, you forgot it, how we can reach it uh, from here, the settings. You can click just here. <clears throat> or for the uh, search bar or the other way. And you can uh, find edit default navigation. <clears throat> Sorry. And edit default navigation after click that, the same page you can go there, okay? How we can uh, know it's working or not, just you are going to preview. You can see here, home, topics, and let me find it here, accounts. <clears throat> okay, in accounts, uh, as you see here, everything is ready, not in your uh, Salesforce org, inside of the Salesforce org, uh, there's a space in Salesforce communities and there's a, like a subfolder, right? Okay, that's it. You can uh, edit the other things if you couldn't find anything. Let's back and from the settings or when you click that, you can edit default navigation. That's it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.